Gavin Hill John of Taught Skills. And in this video, I want to discuss something that a good manager of mine once said, which was know your numbers. So when I was with Asda, I worked for a store manager and he was quite prescriptive in the fact that he expected his department managers to know our numbers. So we needed to know the critical numbers that mattered to our departments. So that's our sales and our key controllable costs, things like wages and waste. And that's something that I took on board and it's something that I put into my own business life when I became self-employed. And now I make sure for my business that I know what is happening in terms of my accounts. So I know what my sales are and I know what my costs are. And I do this because I don't want to wait 12 months for my accountant to turn around to me and say, you didn't make any money or you made a lot of money. You could have done other things and you could have invested in your business. So I try to ensure on a weekly basis that I know exactly where my business is. As a minimum, I think you should do it on a monthly basis. But please, don't wait until the end of the year to know what your numbers are telling you in your business. So take some time, look at your accounts. With today's software, Zero, Sage, all of those things, there's really no reason why we can't be on top of our numbers all of the time. So, what are your thoughts on that? Do you know your numbers? Thanks everyone.